Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to Web Squadron. We're going to be covering uh, one of the fundamentals of web design, which is wireframing. That's where you're setting out the layout of your website with yourself or your client. We're trying to get an idea for where should things go, because there's nothing worse than designing blind. Spending a couple of days on it and then your client or you going, that's not what we wanted. So it's always good to have a bit of a layout plan. And it doesn't have to be done using a wireframe like what you can see over here. It can be done with a scribble on a page. You know, you can be very simplistic with it. But I want to show you a tool where you can make it a little bit more interactive for yourself or even your client when you're doing a video call or a session with them. Now, this is an example of a wireframe. It's not the greatest wireframe, but it's basically where you start to set out Where's my header go? Where's my image go? What about the icons? What about the contact form? And things like that. Obviously, the detail will come when you actually build it, but the layout can be super, super important. So there's loads of ways you can do it. I mean, there's lots of online tools, wireframe.cc. Figma is a very popular one used by a lot of um, designers. Um, there's also Lucid Chart where you can do some over there and there's Photoshop as well. And there's lots. I mean, I just said there's loads, but there are lots of tools you could use. Now, what I want to show you is a slightly different way. And if you like what you see, if you go to the link in our description and you subscribe, OK, you will get a free copy of what I'm going to show you. It's a template. It's a free template. There's no cost. It's totally free. Um, and all it is doing is this. So here's the template. So I've spent a bit of time creating this. Um, these, a lot of these icons are taken from another website and I will be attributing the author of those icons in the description box so you can see where they came from. And I've also used some of the icons that came from Elemental, mainly because I couldn't find a good enough image to sit within here. Let me just explain what this is. Okay, let me just do this. This. It's just a page, nothing fancy, with some icons on the left hand side. In the middle, you have a page. It doesn't look like a page because we haven't anything, added anything into there yet. And then we have some notes on the right hand side. So, how does it operate? So, let's say we're building a website and we've got the customer on the phone or we're doing a video chat or we're just trying to spec out roughly what's the layout gonna be like, okay? They might decide, okay, we're gonna have our logo in the top left. So I'm going to pick this one up here, this icon, I'm going to copy it. Don't drag, if you drag, you've lost it and it's now over here now. And I'm just going to paste it into there. And I'm just going to resize that to be about there. I'm now going to pick up my nav menu, in case you didn't know, that's the nav menu. And I'm going to paste that over here. And I'm just going to position it to the right. So I know that the menu is to the right. And obviously you can start to mess around and do what you want with it. I'm now just going to duplicate this section. Uh, in fact, what I will do, I'll make sure that at the time when I paste this, there is already a duplicated section. Let me just delete that as well. So there's always a duplicate section below. Always a good idea to do that thing. There we go. So in this next section below, this is where I might decide, okay, um, we're now maybe going to have another section maybe, or just have one section. And we may now have a call, like a hero banner or a call to action or something of that nature. So I might decide, right, are we going to stick a big image in and I'm going to get rid of this section over here. And I might get rid of, I might then just put something like, um, well, I might not use that. Let's not use that one. Let's delete that one. Oh, and I dragged it. Remember what I said, don't drag it, copy it over. So what we could do is, um, let's go for something like this. Okay, and again, I dragged it. Don't drag it. Just copy it and paste it over. I'm not doing this very well, am I? And I'm now just going to close that, delete that column, and I'm going to delete that column. Okay, and I'm just going to move this over to be about there. There we go, right, let me just move myself here. Let me just get that bang on the line there. Now in the notes section, this is where I can now decide and put down some notes. I might say, uh, hero, banner, uh, what kind of image will go there? Um, what will be the headline? You know, you might want to put down what the headline is. Da -da -da -da. And then you might have a button which goes to a contact form or it might go to another page. You know, we don't know what the page name is, but we might want to make a note there. What we could also do up here is we might then say uh, over here that we're going to have the logo and the logo will be whatever the logo will be. And then we'll have a menu. And we might also say above the menu, we're going to have social icons above. So I know that's my layout in effect. 
And then further down the page, you can now start to add in other icons. And we're now going to paste that over there. So we might now have another section below. And it might not be as big as this. Okay, so let me just uh, duplicate that. Let's get rid of that image like so. Let's just align that like that. And then we're going to decide about how big is it going to be. Um, but the idea is, is that is by working through this methodically, you could start to create your layout. And I know this is nothing fancy. Someone's going to look at this and go, oh, I'd rather stick to Figma or whatever. Fine, do what you want to do. I'm not telling you how to bake bread because I don't even know how to bake bread. So don't learn from me. But the idea is, is that is you could very quickly, while talking to them, they might decide and go, yeah, OK, we want to have the testimonials here to so stick an icon. We want to have X, Y, Z in. We want to have our images. So this is one of those ways, ways where you could wireframe on your own or with the client. Um, look, totally free if you want it. It's going to be just go to the box down there. Just uh, subscribe with your email address and then we will get it sent over to you. Um, and you'll get it in your inbox. So look, it's up to you at the end of the day. But I, I hope you enjoy using it. Like, subscribe. See you soon.